I live in one of the most picturesque parks of the country. Most people think of me as a car guy, but that hasn't always been the case. I started out that way, and life got in the way of that. I made a living writing software, and I had some successes with it. But now I've found my way back to follow that passion. I hear about events all around the country that look like a lot of fun, and I don't know what it takes in time, money, and equipment, so I usually just let it go. I wondered, what if we went and did all those things and showed you what we encountered along the way in a series of episodes that shows you everything you need to know to go do them on your own, where we'll go and fail our way through as many things as we can, and along the way, we'll be reminded that the journey is just as important as the destination. Welcome to the Road 2 series. This is James Worth. What can I say about Jimmy? He once built a plane in his second floor living room. Not because he's a pilot, or particularly into planes, just because he likes to see a confused look on everyone's face. He and I have worked together for over 15 years. I've known him for almost 20, and we've just decided to finally go all in on something we've wanted to do for years. The 24 Hours of Limits. It's a race you may not have heard of. You take a car you're into for 500 bucks or less, and you outfit it with safety gear, make it as reliable and fast as you can, trailer it over to some place likely many states away, and run the thing for 24 hours over a weekend. It sounds fun, and every year we talk about wanting to do it, and wave off because we know there's a lot we don't know to get ready for it. And that's me, Chris Kane. I've been a software developer for the past couple decades, and I've recently decided to take some time off from that. I've done a few interesting things. The most notable, I guess, is being the main creator behind a large spam filtering service. Yeah, email. Not exciting. And this isn't about any of that. No, this is about a couple guys who have no real idea what they're doing, entering a race with a car for less than 500 bucks. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to film it, take some notes, and lay it all out for you here. You're going to know what we ran into and how much it cost. Basically an example of what it takes for two people who are the farthest thing from being an expert you can imagine. So we made a bunch of calls, and the first car we really went to look at that we were really excited about was a 66 Mustang. Now, they had listed it for over a grand. We could see the pictures of it. It wasn't worth that. Uh, so we loaded up the truck in the hopes that A, we could find something that we could actually use and B, talk them down mm, a lot. So do we want to maybe call who? Some of those other cars? Eh, they're in Mobile. Oh, yeah. I didn't look at the location. Yeah, that's problematic. Mobile. If only you went there almost every day. Right. If only. I was not going that far at least mm -hmm. once a week. What's a day? Huh? Hmm? No, not once a day. It's more than once a week. You've been there as recently as today, I'm sure. Yeah, she comes here once a week and I go there once a week. Mm -hmm. and thank you. Yeah. When you're older, that's a lot. Man, that's two <laughs> sevenths of your work week. It's, uh, <laughs> That's got to save no, you no, a lot of no, money. No, 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 that's, that's two divided by zero <laughs> uh, my sure. work week. And you can't divide by zero. Uh -huh. So... Well, you get an irrational number, right? Right. Which, you know... Well, if you're talking about women. Exactly. Exactly. See? Fucking geniuses. So we're here to look at the Mustang. And when we walk up on it, it is, let's just say, less than savory. Structurally unsound. You know, insert your own phrase there. It was a wreck. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind running this race in a beater. In fact, that's kind of what we were looking for. But there's a point where it can be too far gone. And this was definitely too far gone. 
And to make matters worse, they really weren't even interested in coming down to our price point. Basically, it was a wash for us. What were you looking for? What didn't you find? Why not this car? Yeah, Structural issues uh, in the sense that we definitely have to have a solid, we don't care about the body panels, but we do care about the structural yeah. integrity. If you're going along and um, all of a sudden you fall out the bottom of it, that's bad. Yeah. yeah. Or, but 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 for for film, it's awesome. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, hospital bills and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> always, uh, always a good Aren't time. You always spread flips. Uh, <laughs> As we go along the series, we're going to be stopping periodically and giving you a condensed version of everything we failed at. One of the difficult times that we had. Finding a car that was good for this race. Uh, when you go out and you look on eBay, um, you're probably not going to find what you're looking for. Places that you're going to want to look, it's going to be Craigslist, it's going to be Racing Junk, it's going to be the Lemons Forum actually has a really good place where you can find cars that have been previously run in Lemons. Uh, you can get them, negotiate, whatever you need to do. Um, but they're gonna be already set up if you wanna bypass all the stuff that we had to do with adding roll cages and fire suppression equipment. Uh, most of that's gonna be added for you. It's gonna save you a lot of time. But if you start from the beginning, uh, from scratch, whatever you're trying to do with it, um, you're looking for, you're looking for Nissan Altimates, BMWs, old Porsches, uh, anything that's going to have a manual transmission that you can find parts cheaply and easily for. So that means Facebook Local, which is where we found the Pinto. That means Craigslist. That means Racing Junk. And that means Lemons Forms. These are the places that you're going to find something. For me, our failure started when I love older cars and when I started this, I thought that I was going to be good enough to find a cool older car that we could actually turn into a race car, slap a few metal patches on it, um, get rid of some rust, and go. I think what we came up with was close to that, but it really bit me. I had a kind of cool factor that I was looking for that really slowed the search down. So what I would say is be open to whatever is going to work. Stick to the priority of functionality and price and forget about the cool factor. Most people put the cool factor into paint, they come up with a theme, they do all sorts of things. Um, but for us, the takeaway was uh, don't stick to just cars that you think are cool. Be open to getting whatever it is that works the best and you can go ahead and get quickly and not have to spend a whole lot of time looking and potentially miss the race that you are trying to, to make. And start months in advance because it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was. I hope that helps. One with, I'm with, little, with several different things, attributes, if you will. I'm, I'm a little concerned that we cannot find a couple. Oh, we will. And you've been at your job at App River and doing so much. Yes. And not... Not having time to look for Not having car. time to look for the yeah, car. That's, that's frequently a problem. So what we ought to do... Ought to. Is, ought to. Ought to. Look one more time and do a search. Why would, why would we do a thing like Be, that? Because... Because Are you saying Craigslist is not good enough for you? Craigslist is always good enough. All right. I mean, I mean but what are we got you your first wife. And the yeah. And the fifth. The fifth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but but not in the others. No. So what we should do is make a list of attributes we require in a car. Yes. And then we can just check off cars like the uh, Russian dude on Star Trek. I know that it's been very difficult for us to find a car. Maybe we should do one more search and see if we find. Find the OS. 
said car I on wait man to the Facebook marketplace. Yes. Oh. Oh, damn. You see that? Too bad it's just the oil pan off of a pacer. Oh. I know, right? Not everybody has a pacer. Scrolling down the street in your oh, oh, oh. oh look, here's a sold to Tony. Like, don't bother removing your ad, because that would be too easy. Make a new picture that says sold to Tony, Tony yes. and leave the ad. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Like, why do people do that? Because they think people are still going to call. Like, maybe they wrote their phone number down in, like, some sort of manual process. Right, but if the ad was gone, people wouldn't call them. Here's something. It's a Ford Pinto station mm -hmm. wagon. It's the right color. Yes. What would you call it? Orange or yellow? Like, like what is that? Like a rusty... Heavy orange. No. No. It's a station wagon. Hmm. But what's in it? Is it automatic or manual? It's... I don't think... Manual? See? And there's a bonus. And... Does, like, what does it say? What does it say? It says... Something about a bracket racing engine. Uh, but where is it? Hmm. Let me get out the maps. Yeah. And put out the. Oh! You're gonna like this. Uh, no, I'm not. You know Mississippi? I do. Not that far. A couple of miles this side. That's relative. That could be upwards of like 600 miles from here. But imagine, if you will, nope. a road trip where we drive more than a hundred miles to get a Pinto station wagon. Ooh. I could get behind that. And it's uh it's American. It's sweet wheels. It's uh it doesn't look like it's moved in a while. Yeah, but we can make it move. It's brownish orange. By pushing onto a tree. We could. Yes. I could definitely get the job done. It's uh, got a lot of glass. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. And, you know, station wagons are streamlined. Exactly. They don't have that whole but, air problem at the back. I say we roll with the Pinto because that's what I'm seeing on Facebook. Nothing but white space. So, clearly, clearly, clearly this is our best opportunity. I mean, so, nothing seems to work. You call him. I will. What would you like me to call him? Uh, a jackass. All right. So just call him up, call him Jackass, yeah. and uh, see what happens with it. Uh, all right, you send me a what have you. All right. Most people do this to go get a cool car. Nope. Not us. Nope. 79 Pinto. $500. dollars mm Heaven -hmm. is a 79 Pinto station. It could very well be. You know, there were, room in there. there were hundreds of people who bought this and decided that it was the best car ever. Oh, yeah. The ones that didn't perish. Right. So, this doesn't look like a road. He's up on the right. Uh, but he's going to suck. I just know it. I just know it. Well, at least you have a very long trailer. You've got to get out of this mess. Right. Yeah. Hey, look, cows. Oh, we got a bright light on it. Right. One of those things. So if I look, pull a in '79 that, Pinto. Yes. If I pull in that driveway. Uh, I mean, it looks like there's a big field. You'd have an opportunity to turn around and so. Shoot All right. You. Might as well just block ourselves in. That'd be good. Exactly. Don't be a. You just shoehorn yourself up in here. See, you'll have all this room to once you get over there. Really? Oh, oh, four dogs oh, wow. coming to greet. Coming Did we to really greet. drive this far for that? Yep. Oh, dude. I don't want to run over his dogs. We probably frown on that. Uh, we could just stop right here. Yeah, I'll just All right. stop right here. Cool. We hopped out of the truck, spent some time looking over the Pinto. It wouldn't turn over, but he assured us he had shut it off running and parked it, and there must be some issue with the battery. He said he had bought the car from a guy who built the engine and stuck it into the Pinto to have some fun. He had driven it, 
and it was fine. Uh, sounded legit, so we paid him and headed back to Florida with our prize on the trailer and started discussing what's next. Man, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I just wish I had a picture in my head of, like, a theme. You don't have to have a theme. Everything's better with a theme. No, you don't have to. But the theme is part of part of being remembered. But what if you don't want to be remembered? But I do. <coughs> that is our point. To show people how. <coughs> Through our failures. And we're going to have lots. sign up for it like it's the virgin car when you use the little tra registered trademark like <laughs> all of it <laughs> Richard Branson's face on yeah it. <laughs> yeah like in the window <laughs> <laughs> actually get him to acknowledge it that would be awesome <laughs> you know on facebook thanks richard branson for sponsoring our <laughs> unfortunately yeah we broke down on people, the third lap people. we got the car home parked on the side of the yard just to try to figure out what to do next thought maybe there would be a starter issue i got a solenoid and install it late that night we worked on the engine trying to get it to turn over and what we discovered after all was that the engine was junk. We thought we had scored with a buy that was gonna have an amazingly built engine and fail. Hopefully, this wasn't just the start of our troubles. So on this episode. Yes. We looked at some cars. We looked at some cars. We They all sucked. Uh, yeah, they all sucked. We and bought we, one of them. And we were we were upset. We were? I, I was. I was. I, I was. All. Because I was trying to get you. I, I, I was frustrated. I was trying to get you, like, hey, let's get a car. Didn't seem You're frustrated. working at App River too much. Yeah. Yeah. What is this job thing that you jo have to get Jobs money? are lame. Jobs Got rid of that in this episode, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this episode. That's too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We got rid of that in the future. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Uh huh. So, uh, so. I was I was frustrated, and we we had this moment we where did. Uh, that's probably why you're divorced. Yeah, yeah, we, that is. We've a, had a few moments in right. our day, yeah. but so yeah. so we had this moment where later. I was like, we need to find a car now, and we we, we were both. Yeah, I, I thought we were both frustrated with it. And then we hit one. Facebook. Then we hit the Facebook locals. Yep. Came over, and the first car. It wasn't the first car. Well, I mean, we immediately saw... We did. ...a Pinto... And it was orange. ...with ish. a bracket racing engine. Yes. And that engine is in that Pinto right now. No, it's not. Most of it is. Right. Yes. Because apparently it's seized. Yes. Oh, that's right. Present tense. Yes. Not future tense. I see what you did. As past tense. Yes. Yes. That's so not in this episode. That 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 engine seized, and we have to find another engine, mm. which 
If only there was a cornucopia of other vehicles that shared the same Ford 2.3. Right, like the Mustang. The Ford Ranger. The right, other Pintos. Ford Ranger, some various, some various foreign cars. British cars, yes. Yeah. If, if only. Yeah, if only. That existed. Oh, well. So we're going to get on Craigslist and find an engine. And a no strings attached sort of thing. Well, that's back page. But that's gone. So thought, you, you have to use Craigslist now, don't you? I thought they got rid of it on Craigslist. Did they? I don't know how this stuff works. Where do you get yours? Uh, apparently I haven't in a while. Oh. Eh. But that's nothing new. Eh. So, so we're going to get on Craigslist and we're going to find an engine for this Pinto next episode. He and I together on Craigslist. Going to see a dude, probably. Right. <laughs>